Greetings and welcome to the Dream Syndicate. Today we're making a DIY clay crow, so let's get crafting. First for making a polymer clay bird, we'll wad up some tin foil into a shape that looks like a bird's body. We're making a crow, but you could really use this process to make whatever bird you like. Next we'll form our clay around that shape and then add a little ball of clay for the head. I'll just use my clay tool to blend this crow's head into its body. Before sculpting, I did some quick sketches of crows. In all, I spent about 5 to 10 minutes drawing so I had a feel for what a crow really looks like. I decided I wanted the crow a bit bigger, so I'm adding more clay and working on refining the body shape. Next I'm bending some fine gauge armature wire in half and braiding it together, but I'm being careful to leave a little extra wire on both ends untwisted. This is so important! This is how we're going to make our bird's feet! We'll just bend it into a U-shape and snip off some excess wire. Now we'll just take our clay tool and cut a little cavity for the bird's legs to go into. By bending the leg wires at about the halfway point, we'll create a leg joint. Then I'll just blend the polymer clay over the wire. I've wrapped a strip of clay around the back of the sculpt to change the shape a bit, and it'll help the leg wire stay in it. Next we'll poke some holes for the placement of the eyes. Here I've just added a cone shape to the face that will blend down into the crow's beak. I'm going to use my pointy clay tool, it's a technical term, to press a line two thirds of the way down across the beak and sort of press in the lower part of the beak so that the upper part looks like it overhangs it. And here's what the final shape of the crow's body looks like. I'd previously made a bunch of clay beads from original white Sculpey, so I'll put them in for its eyes. Next I'll use these balls of clay to form the crow's thigh area. Then I'll use larger balls of polymer clay to create long, flat, teardrop shapes to form the bird's wings. What's your favorite crow or even raven stories? Let me know down in the comments! With the ghoul tide season coming up, I'm thinking of the movie The Crow. This crow sculpt is kind of a background element to a jack lantern piece I'm working on. If you want to see the rest of the project, I'll leave links to where you can watch it get made. If I wanted to use clay to make a tail, I'd add a fan shape, but I have another idea that I think will look really cool that you'll get to see toward the end of the build. I'm just going to cut the loop of wire that we have remaining on the one foot here and spread his talons out. Next I'm going to cut lengths of wire and wind it around his feet to form the middle and rear talon. Here's a close-up of the way the talon wires look when they're all done. I'm just going to mix up a bit of plumber's epoxy, which I'll sculpt into the sort of palms of the crow's talons. Once this epoxy's mixed, I have about 5 minutes to work with it. Here's what the sculpted feet look like. We'll trim off the extra wire on the middle talon. I'm actually going to leave a lot of the extra wire on the rear talon because it's going to be useful to attach this to a fence post that I want to put him on for a photo shoot. Now I'm just going to lay down a base tone of cobalt blue acrylic since dark birds can sometimes look like they have a blue tint to them. I'm using a mixed black tone made from phthalo blue, raw umber, and alizarin crimson. When painting the body, the mixture has more phthalo blue to give it more of a blue tint. It's helpful to be able to set this clay sculpture down as I work on it, and I found this tiny clamp was perfect for that. For painting the eyes, I used the same colors, but this time the mixture uses a bit more raw umber to give it a warm brown look. The feet and the beak are painted with the same colors as the body, but with a little white added to it. Paint doesn't stick to armature wire that well, so if it's really important to you that the legs don't show any of the wire through, you can coat it with a few layers of something like Mod Podge, Crystal Clear, or a thin layer of red and epoxy to give the paint something to adhere to. And now's the part that I teased about earlier. I'm going to take some fabric tack and attach these black feathers that I had around the house, as one does, to form a tail. I 
I think these tail feathers look great, and I'm loving how the crow looks set up in this photo. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to join me in making imaginary reality, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Until next time, make believe!